Okay, this automation starts just where the last one ended, which is someone that submitted a form clicked on the link for your Calendly page. Now, to set it up is essentially, um, we're gonna select the email that was sent to the person and that link, if they click on that link, that's gonna trigger this whole automation moving forward. And we're gonna wait five minutes. As I mentioned before, I, I, you, I use this uh, waiting time regularly just to give the platform enough time to process all the information and make sure that nothing gets lost. Now, during uh, after those five minutes, we're gonna ask the, the following condition. And this is where the Calendly integration fully kicks in. Calendly automatically adds this tag to any person who books a meeting with you, a 30 minute uh, meeting. And the tag is called, as you can see here, Calendly hyphen integration hyphen 30 underscore minute underscore meeting. You don't have to set it up. This is automatically created by Calendly and added to your contacts whenever they uh, book as a time slot with you. So we're going to ask the question, does the contact now have uh, this tag? And if the answer is yes, the outcome is pretty simple. We're going to move to the next stage, which is the Zoom call. If the answer is no, it's probably because the, the person received the email with the link, but they're not quite sure they want to talk to you yet. They're just probably looking at other providers and comparing prices, quotes, and all that stuff. So you're going to give him the benefit of a doubt and give him a, a period of seven days to click on your link or book a meeting rather. So after seven days, you're going to ask another uh, question. And this time it's the reverse logic. If the tag still doesn't exist for this Calendly integration 30 minute meeting, meaning that the person still hasn't booked a meeting with you. Now, now the logic is going to be, if that's the case, if the contact still doesn't have that tag, meaning that they haven't booked the meeting, you're going to send an email and it's called conveniently gain back lead. And you're going to ask them, ask them what happened, uh, what other um, things you need to do in your offering in order for them to book the meeting or something more subtle, if you prefer to uh, write it that way. But all you want to do is stay top of mind for this, this prospect and send them the link again to book the meeting. Wait for two days. And at this point, if they still don't want to book with you, well, you pretty much uh, go here to no. Does the contact match the following condition? It's not in the agency newsletter, meaning that they, they're not, uh, they didn't even sign up for the form <laughs> in the first place which is obvious, but just in case you need to ask that question, um, meaning that maybe you unsubscribe the, the lead because they, they, you realize they're not gonna pan out, but you can automate it too. So if the answer is yes, wait for five minutes and the deal gets uh, automated, um, sorry, the deal status is automatically updated to lost, meaning that there's nothing else you can do here and the automation and everything you're not gonna fall, uh, pursue that prospect anymore. If the answer is no, you wanna notify the account owner that they eh, this, this lead might still be in play. Um, and if the account owner is you, obviously, if you're a solopreneur, well, you're, you'll get the notification. Um, and you can keep it in the back burner, just in case, to, not, to email that person later on, maybe a month or two down the road, and once that's done, once the, the account owner has been notified, they can decide what they, they want to do with that lead. But the following action would be to end this automation. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's where it ends. If the person, however, did click the link on the second try, then we're going to go here. And we're going to move on to the next stage, which is the final stage. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, this was not as complicated as the previous one, but it, it showcases the, the powerful features 
of the integration between Active Campaign and Calendly, where you essentially don't have to answer phone calls or anything like that. You just have to wait for your lead to schedule the meeting, meaning that that person is very interested in talking to you about your services or your product. Thank you for watching this far.